Okay, so here we here we are. Uh, we have uh, um, concluded that well, we have this now um, variable we can play to, uh, that tells us whether we can play uh, something from our first hand or not. Uh, let's do this many many times. We have the iterations we run start here. I'm going to create a new variable up here. Say let results equal an empty array. To this array we're going to push, I guess, ones and zeros. Uh, and we push a one if we can play, we push a zero if we cannot play. Uh, so for every iteration, this iteration stops here, I guess, yes. If we can play, uh, results push a one, else results push zero. All right. And then looking at this array, we can just look at the average uh, to see uh, how many, well, the probability of getting a hand that we can play on our first seven cards. Um, right, so let's try this. We have iterations one, let's do 10 instead. Debug. Bam, results. Now this seems a bit harsh. We can play ones. That's very strange. That's very strange. Let's see again another test. But I did return the card, yeah. What? Okay, so something seems wrong. Let's debug inside this loop because I'm... Is this results variable already taken? Its name already taken. We can play false. Let's have a look at this. It seems wrong. It should be very highly likely that we can uh, play something. Or maybe I just picked very expensive cards. Um, total cost three, so that's no use on first round. Total cost five, no use on, fir use on first round. Four, yeah, okay, land. Uh, total cost, also land. Land. Okay, so it seems the code is correct, but I have chosen bad cards. Let's change that. That's a good, um, good uh, case to check against. Um, let's remove how many cards? So these are expensive. Well, not perhaps not expensive, but you can't play them on the first round. This only costs one white, so let's keep that one. Let's keep these and these. Okay, so this should drastically improve my chances of um, being able to play something on the first round. I don't have a valid deck anymore, but that's another case. So. Yeah. Okay. More probable. More more likely to be able uh, to play something on the first round. Good. Uh, now, final thing is to uh, get the average value of this uh, uh, results array. So let's Google for that in JavaScript uh, array average. How to compute the sum and average of elements in an array? You know what? We can count the number of ones 
That should be enough, because we only have ones and zeros. Let's try that. JavaScript count number of occurrences in array. Frequency of array elements. How many somethings we have here? Yeah, okay. Compare that against getting the average. Um, yeah, okay. I'm going to do that. So when we're done here, we can, I don't, it's probably wiser to use this constant thing, but I'm not used to it. I'm not, I'm not, I don't know what it does. So I'm just going to use a standard variable here. Let's introduce the sum, which is this results reduced in this way for every pair of numbers. We uh, uh, create the sum of them. And then we're going to Then we're going to output. Well, let's create the average actually. Return average. And here we are actually, 6 and 40 into this uh, video. Let's run this. Let's run this in the uh, spreadsheet here. Simulation a thousand times here. So we have 58% chance of getting uh, to play something in our first round with this invalid deck, which has 35 cards in it. If I add some more cards, uh, we have islands in here, right? So adding blue cards is quite all right. You know what? We could probably add filters here to the data filter. Let's filter this one to you. Something that is only requires one. Okay. Didn't help much. Come on. I should. Okay, that's better. I think. Take all these, take all the white ones as well. Single white. And there are some cards that requires any one mana. There. And then recalculate. And I have to change this number so it will be called again. And now I have a much higher probability of um, getting uh, getting to play something on my first round. All right, nine to seven percent chance, more or less. So that's it, I guess, for for this uh, short, well, not so short uh, series of um, how to use Google spreadsheet and uh, scripts to simulate stuff for board games. We're not nearly done. I hope to, to create some videos showing you a much more complex script I've used for, to simulate more or less my entire board game I'm building. But that will be for another series, not this time. Thank you for watching. I hope you had, well, so, some use of this. Um, let me know if you did. You can write a comment on my blog or somewhere. And take care. Have fun. Good luck.